there are certain things that are okay to do with mm -hmm. trauma. Like for example, art, like we say, sort of like, look at this amazing, um, like amazing piece of literature. Did you know that the author has come from a background of poverty? Uh, and that's that's the poignancy of the description or when we find it in paintings or works of art, right? Um, or as you said, when somebody is like very professionally successful. Um, but when we find it in gender or when we find it in sexuality, um, when we find, think about kind of like um, feminine people who have survived sexual assault and whose sexual fantasies get inflected from that by that violence. Like we don't we don't want to find trauma in sexuality. We don't want to find it in gender. But the thing is that trauma kind of like sediments in the self and it doesn't just cause constriction, which it can, or problems. It can also bend us in different paths that we didn't necessarily expect. Mm -hmm. uh, Trauma causes us to experiment and to invent. It's in relation to trauma that we try to invent as human beings. Not all inventions enjoy the same degree of acceptance. 